Alexa, time. The time is 7.39 a.m. 7.39 a.m. That means, guys, we are being picked up in 20 minutes to go to York. The coach will be waiting. Let's see what we're waiting for. As usual, that's what we're waiting for. Sling your hook and I'll take 10 minutes longer. Hurry up. I bet you're right that before I've even left here, you're still not ready. I'm, I've got my shoes on. I'm stood waiting. Yes, it's Friday. Yes, it's York Day. Yes, the coach will be waiting already. So let's go. I've got some fruit stick to um, eat on the coach. Got my bag packed. It's rather heavy. Uh, so let's go. <laughs> We're on our way to York. What? We didn't get the back seats like we usually do, no. So we're uh, not sitting next to each other, so we've got more room. So you greedy bugger. We've arrived in York. Literally like five minutes, and you've got an ordered food. Um, I think it was you who, when we stepped the um, call, it was just you. That... you said, right, where's bread? That's what we need first. What have you ordered? Bacon sandwich. What have I ordered? Um, toasted carrot tea cake. So you've been a greedy bugger. And a cappuccino you've got. And yeah. Tom's also just gone and ordered a full, a full English breakfast, don't you? No. Nope. What did you get? Uh, the big breakfast toasty, bacon, sausage, and tomato. Oh yeah, so everything on an English breakfast on a bread one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's small coffee is here. I'm not sure. You, oh, there we go. There you can see how big it is now. Just put it up to your. In fact, just drink. Put it up to put your it face. As big as your head. <laughs> as big as your head. <laughs> It's bigger than your That party. is the biggest coffee pot, coffee cup I've ever seen. How much did that cost? Uh, £2.75. For that? Yeah. That's not bad. For that, like £2.75 for that. Like. Where are we? Let's show where we are. Bells of York. If you want the biggest coffee you've ever seen in your life, come to Bells of York. We're in the Harry Potter shop. Nick's, Nick's seen which one he wants. This is your one. I don't understand how they managed to snap this every That's metal, man. That's gotta be metal. So this is the unofficial Harry Potter shop, yeah. In New York, at the end of the shambles, which is basically where Diagon Alley was based on. Tom looks a bit like Harry Potter now, don't he, with them glasses on? <laughs> oh. Hardy, hardy, ha. So funny. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is, is that the mud? Just needs one of those scars on his Tommy there. Potter. <laughs> Harry's brother. <laughs> oh now, yeah, it's there's the three Harry Potter shops now, all next door to each other. And that's Tom's um, latte cup. <laughs> Got a picture of Bob on it. Well, yeah, it has. I bet that's a two pint and that's fair bigger than the last Right, so, we're, so on we're on street. Diagon Alley. We're on Diagon Alley, which is the shamble in York. So if you look up the street, that is basically what Diagon Alley is modelled on. And there's JK Harry Potter Rowling. himself. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> J.K. Rowling modelled Diagon Alley on this. Very funny. It is. And there's three Harry Potter shops. So there's one. That was the first one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the original. So another one's open down there the called Street, World of Wizardry. And then the boy and wizard. And then the boy wizard there. J.K. Rowling designed Diagon Alley based on the shambles in York. Yeah. And we've just booked a game in the du York Dungeons, haven't we? Yeah. And Harry Potter won't go in. No. Yeah, well, I, I actually thought York Dungeons were somewhere else, and now it says outside you're going to be petrified. You're going to be pathetic. <laughs> I hope you cry like a little girl. They better not lock me in a dungeon. Oh, there's a Christmas shop. Could do with the coffee, actually. Yeah. What? Give me a break. You just bloody have one. I had a cup of tea. Yeah, gin and pot. Oh, that's it. We'll have a gym before we go to York Dungeons, then I won't care. So I'm just gate crushing these Japanese tourists, so we're looking at Diagon Alley, which is there. Yeah. So, there we go. So if you like Harry Potter, come here. Well, this is a Harry Potter themed York trip. We've just proved it now by going to four shops. like Harry Potter. You are. Because oh, we've brought Harry Potter. <laughs> so we're following Tom, the uh, tour guide. It's taking us to a gin bar. Tommy Potter. Potter. Harry Potter! 
Evil Eye Cocktail Bar. Gin Bar, woohoo! There you go, Nick. So, Evil Eye Cocktail Bar, this is the gin bar that's got 1,200 different gins or something. Black tomato gin. Well, apparently it's on three layers and it's some kind of, there's like Asian chairs and things like that. Do you want to look in the shop first? Possibly, yeah. I've tried with an eel rhubarb. I'm not right keen. Oh, you want CCTV? 31.55 for just rhubarb. Lots of gin. You gotta take shoes off. <laughs> Get into bed. Can you bring your gin up here? I'm guessing so. So I've got um, violet gin and Nick's got strawberry gin. Bring it in, let me have a try. Oh, this is going down nicely. How's your gin, Nick? How's your gin? I'm not used to singles. So we're going to the York Dungeons. Nick's gone to get us tickets before we go for a drink. Tom's still too scared to go in. I'm not scared to go in. Just not my cup of What? We can go in now. But I need a drink before I go in there. Who's scared now? <laughs> we're off for a drink first, then we're off in. So take us to a bar, Tom. The last one. The Santan. We're having a bit of Dutch courage before we're going to the um, York Dungeons. Can't see you because you're too dark. I don't need Dutch courage. Why, you having red wine then? You two are buses. I'm alright until Tom put me off. I'm alright. <laughs> we're in the York Dungeons, but we can't film. This is as much as you're going to get. Yeah, so they might take it off me, so I've got to put it away quickly before anybody sees. Mm. Nice. We're out of the dungeons, but I can't film much because there's music on. Ed Sheeran. The dungeons was crap, don't we? Oh. Next week. Not the dungeons. But I'm in some drinks before I go for food. I'll film there. Lee's got, Lee's got doubles, but they're all like triples. So, are you getting a super stacked nachos, Nick? For four people, for three people. For three? Mm -hmm. Don't make out that I'm perfect for two to share. And then I'm going to have a mushroom burger. Right, Nick. Tom <laughs> wants to show you a magic trick and then he wants your um, opinion on it, okay? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> old napkin. Plain old napkin. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put it down, right? I'm going to rub the table and the glasses are going to move. Are you ready? Right? Holding the table so it doesn't move either. Let me know when the trick starts. Starting up. The glasses are moving by themselves and I'm just rubbing the table. Shall I show you another trick? What? No, no, first of all, what do you think of that trick? Pathetic. There's a slope on the table and you put the wine glasses on the edge of the slope, so when you go... I actually haven't. They're not wine glasses. <laughs> well, whatever. Is that your trick? Yeah. I've got another trick. Another double plate. <laughs> I've got a photo, I'm just doing the video now. Okay. <laughs> I've never ever seen a police tractor. Why would a police have a tractor? It's a rural task force. It's a freaking tractor. On loan by from farm services. Yeah, but why would, a, why would a policeman have a tractor? Nick's had a few gins. Yeah, but my sense of logic's not disappeared. Tom, do you think Nick's drunk? A little bit. Not yet. You can tell because his forehead's gone red. <laughs> the sun. Right, we're off to meet some friends now for another gin and then we're off back to park. Oh, right. So we're just walking past the Minster looking for us friends. It's very impressive. Uh, Apparently our friend is near the Cenotaph. In fact, I can see her from here. Where? She's just sat there. Is she drinking? Hello, the waving. Hi guys, we're back at the lodge now. That is our York trip done. Where's Nick? Nick! He's not here. It's a new day and we're going home. It's a bit dark in here because we've closed all the windows. Let's see if I can find Nick so he can say goodbye. What are you doing? Getting rid of cobwebs off the cameras. Mm. I completely forgot to finish the vlog off uh, because 
you know, gin. We were drunk. We got onto the coach and just kind of chilled and uh, had a bit of a sleep. So um, I'll finish the vlog here now. Hope you enjoyed our York trip. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Click the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our future videos. And we'll see you next time on Lodge, guys. Goodbye.